Good morning guys, hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to the vlogs. I got my hair done yesterday, so it is very red. I cut a few inches off it actually, and it looks so much healthier and just thicker. I felt like that was necessary. I probably cut like two or three inches off. It looks so healthy and I love it. I'm fully in my, my fall mode right now with the dark red hair. The weather's been cooling down. It's been super nice at night. You don't hear the AC on right now because, or like our little AC thing that we have because we don't need it because the weather's nice and we just open up the windows. Leaf is surfing right now and I think I'm gonna do a quick little workout, a 10, 15 minute one. I wasn't really feeling it, but I want to. I, I wanna do it. I know I won't regret it, but I'm going to Pilates the next few days, so I don't want to overdo it and go today as well. I actually don't even think I could get in because they book up pretty fast. I'm going to set up my stuff and maybe do a workout in just this front room. Okay, I just moved my coffee table. I'm just going to put this yoga mat out right here. Technically, I could do this in the garage, our little gym area, but I don't really want to. I don't want to get it all set up. That is good enough for me. I'm gonna do, I think, a workout from the Aloe Moves app, because they have like a section where you can pick like how long you want the workout to be. And I want mine to be like 10, 15 minutes. I just want a really quick one. Yesterday I had gone through and like favorited some of the ones I was interested in. Let's do deep fire. No, 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 let's do, I'm gonna do one called full out core. listen to the podcast you know that I'm embracing pale girl fall I'm gonna try no promises <laughs> no no um, expectations because maybe if I have an event or something I'll want to tan but I'm just kind of embracing the pale look for autumn because why not I'm gonna make a random like lunch right now I'm gonna make a green juice the one that I really love that I make a lot but then I'm gonna make some pasta <laughs> Cause I just feel, I feel like this green juice right now. I feel like something fruity. If you don't know the recipe yet, I don't measure anything, but basically it's orange juice, frozen mango, super greens. I just put a few hand, handfuls in there. This is such a good way to just like get your vegetables in. I feel like get some greens in cause it tastes really good and it's just easy. I'm gonna put some pineapple in here, why not? I kind of switch up the recipe. Sometimes I'll do like frozen peaches. Uh, sometimes I'll do hemp seeds, chia seeds, whatever. I'll do honey, uh, oh, spirulina, I'm gonna add, oh wait, you guys are balancing on my spirulina. Let me switch you to be balancing on peanut butter. There's this little nook right in my, like, my kitchen windowsill. It's actually so nice for putting you, but it's not wide enough for a tripod, so I always have to balance. I'm heating up water right now to make a little tortellini pasta, but I'll just do like a scoop of spirulina as well. And usually if I'm gonna do that, I'll add some, a little bit of honey between the greens and the spirulina i feel like it can taste kind of just like kind of bitter but I, I like to add some sweetness back also i usually do like some water and some orange juice so it's not all orange juice in the bottom but i'm too lazy to add like hemp seeds and chia seeds and blah 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 right now honestly i just want something simple and this blender by the way maybe i can link it actually for you guys below but it's the beast blender and i really love it it's beautiful and it works really well stops working right now. Wow, perfect amount. Let's see how she is. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I crave this. You can also have vanilla protein powder if you want to get some more protein in. It's so good. I'm currently watering my plants. This is my plant from Kristen, you guys, that I've had for so long. She's thriving. Watering day, so I just watered her. But I wanted to show you guys, I'm doing a photo shoot with Abby, the one I've been talking about, 
We finally planned it and we're doing it tonight. Here's all my, my stuff that I'm taking. I don't know why I decided to use the kitchen to put everything. Um, my office just has a ton of crap in it right now. This is a film camera that you can put lenses on. So I have this lens, my 50 millimeter, and then I have this point and shoot film camera that I love just to take some fun ones maybe. Here's some film, I might go grab a little bit more. Here is an extra battery for this. And then I'm bringing some like jewelry for her to potentially wear if she wants to. And then I have an orange as a prop, you'll see, potentially. And my shell, do you guys remember when I got this shell, this conch shell from Goodwill? It has like writing on it right there that I feel like I need to scrub off. Anyway, we got the shell. I'm also taking Vaseline and this plastic wrap to potentially, you can like put some Vaseline on a piece of plastic wrap and then like wrap it over your lens and it kind of makes it like foggy and just gives it a cool effect. So I think I'm going to potentially try that. Also I'm bringing a spray bottle and this little iPhone tripod to like shoot some behind the scenes. The spray bottle also is for, I don't know if she'll want to get in the water because we're shooting at the beach. I didn't even ask her, but I figure if she doesn't want to get in the water, maybe we can just like spray her face or her shoulder to like give some, some wetness without her having to like fully get in the water. I don't know. So I'm just bringing it. The water's finally almost boiling. This is the pasta I'm making that I am obsessed with. It's so good. I just love Kite Hill, but it's dairy free actually. So it's made with like an almond milk ricotta cheese, but it tastes really, really good, you guys. This and their ravioli, I love so much. Um, so I'm gonna make that. My favorite game is placing you guys on a random object. Um, you're currently on my toaster. Ouch, I cut my finger with a knife yesterday. I need to put a Band-Aid on it and it's been hurting to like, open things. Oh, to Lainey. Sometimes I gotta like do it like this so I don't get splashed and burned. It's like I don't want to do the whole thing because I feel like it'll... Ow! Ah! You guys, it's so hot. Not at cr... Literally, the whole package is getting... Okay, I gotta do it one at a time. Not one at a time, but you know, we gotta do it in like handfuls. The beauty of this pasta specifically is that it literally takes between two and four minutes to cook. So it's like the fastest thing ever. This is the only way, you guys. This pasta sauce is the best stuff ever. You don't even need like, if you use this, you don't need seasonings basically. You can put like salt or salt and pepper on it if you want. It just tastes so good and I love it so much. Chef era. My favorite thing is saying chef era and I'm making everything from like boxes, not even homemade. But you know, we're doing what we gotta do. Here she is. Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. My green juice. I'm really trying to, kind of funny that I'm vlogging while saying this because it's a bit hypocritical, but I was gonna say, I'm trying to just like not do stuff when I'm eating, just eat. Mostly I mean just like being on my phone because my instinct, especially if I'm alone, if Leif and I are eating together, it's obviously easier because we're talking to each other, but when I'm alone, I'm, I just have, I don't know, be watching something on my phone or like somehow even still kind of working, texting, like I was about to be texting um, Chelsea and Beth because we're talking right now about merch for like fall and winter. And I'm excited about it and I want to be talking about it, but I'm like, okay, let me just eat. I am talking to you guys, so I guess that's multitasking, but kind of slowing down, having a moment of silence, a moment of stillness throughout the day. That's, I really need that because I feel like I have a problem with like constantly needing stimulation. Don't we all probably, because we're all like addicted to technology, but I've gotten very used to that for sure. I'm off to shoot. I have this bag full of all that stuff I was showing you guys, plus a towel, because I feel like a towel is always necessary when you're shooting specifically at the beach to like set stuff on. And then I have a camera bag back there, which that's a throwback. I have not worn a camera backpack like that in so long, but it really is just the best way to transport a camera. I feel like I couldn't, I didn't want to just have like lenses and cameras all floating around in here. So I'm bringing the, the camera backpack as well. I'm going to go pick up Abby so that we don't both have to find parking at the beach. So we're gonna drive together. But yeah, I need to leave in like five minutes. Also, I had made these uh, little pumpkin muffins like a few, like, or actually was it yesterday? It was either yesterday or the day before, but I have these left over, so I'm going to bring them to um, Abby so that her and or Keaton can have some muffins.
I got home from shooting, like just a little bit ago, I ate some food. I had some leftover soup because I made soup the other day. And so I ate that and now I'm getting ready for bed. No, I'm not wearing this as a choker. <laughs> I'm taking out my earrings. Um, this little headband for my skincare, but I did record a few clips for behind the scenes I planned to document like I filmed some of those clips and I'm gonna make a little TikTok about the shoe and show kind of behind the scenes and then show the photos That's what I'm planning on doing anyway, but it went super great. It was really fun I ended up getting absolutely soaked. I was gonna show you guys, but it was like pretty much it was completely dark by the time we finished. And I had my vlog camera, but it was so dark you literally couldn't see anything. I should have worn my swimsuit, honestly, and like just put clothes over it because I was basically swimming in the ocean with all my clothes on. Um, I like kind of got my pant legs wet. Abby was more in the ocean and I was like shooting. And then I just was like embracing it. I was like, whatever, my pants are wet. So like I kind of would walk further in and then waves would come. And legitimately I got completely soaked like up to my like my entire pants. I was really wishing that I had worn a swimsuit because I didn't have anything to change into after or anything. So I was just sopping wet driving home. But luckily I did bring a towel. Did a few different looks. I brought the shell. I wonder how much I bought that thing for because I know it was only a few dollars. It was at Goodwill. I think I had, was vlogging when I picked it up. Like I had gone to Goodwill a few months ago. I had the thought that I wanted to do a photo shoot with a conch, like a big shell. And then I saw it like, the same day that I had that thought, so I knew I had to buy it. Yeah, I just, I think the photos are gonna turn out so good, but I shot basically all film, so I took a few on my little, like, baby digital camera that I have, um, and those were already, like, they looked so pretty, so I feel like the film is gonna be really good. I'm gonna take it tomorrow to get developed. We'll see how it turned out, but film is kind of, it's kind of scary because it's scary, but it's also exciting because when you shoot, you have no idea you can't look at them after, you know? It's like not like digital where you look, okay, let me adjust this. It's like, you're kind of just in the moment, which is what I love about it. Also like you can't show your model. Like I wasn't showing her any of the photos cause there was nothing to show. So I was like, trust me, it looks good, it looks good. But I think they'll be really pretty. The lighting was so pretty and it was just reminding me like I really need to go to the beach for sunset as much as possible. I am so lucky to live near the ocean and like at sunset it is just magical. Like there is no better place than the beach for sunset. I truly believe that, especially right now when the weather's just been so nice. I need to do my skincare, but I have this band-aid because I cut myself with a knife. Did, did I already say this? Um, when I was cooking the other night. And I don't want to get like water and soap in that. So I'm just going to do a one-handed wash. I'm going to do my skincare. My skincare hasn't really changed lately. Sometimes I'll add in new products here and there. But I really try and keep it super simple. I don't add in a bunch of stuff. And if I do, like, I don't do it all at once. So if I'm like going to use a new product, I will just add that in for a while. And make sure that my skin's okay with it. Because my skin's just temperamental. I've been pretty much just keeping it simple. I do cleanser. Honestly, sometimes just moisturizer. Like, I don't even do serums a lot of the times now. However, I just, I love skincare so much. So I always want to add in new stuff, but it just scares me because when I f when my skin is good, I just don't want to mess it up. So I'm like, uh, I don't want to add in anything at all. So I've just been keeping it very, very simple. And I think I showed you guys my nighttime skincare routine like really recently, like a few vlogs ago. So I'm not going to bore you with that information, but I am going to wash my face and get into my pajamas. So it was a great day, great night. I'll show you guys the photos once I get them. I'll probably honestly get them tomorrow. So maybe I'll show you some, some previews. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Okay guys, it is the next day. I just got the film back. This place is so fast. I took it in to get developed this morning. It's already back to me. So I'm gonna give a live reaction. Yes, I wear this every day, this workout set. I have basically a workout uniform. It's this aloe top and these uh, Lululemon Align leggings. I love the combination together and I have like, I think two or three of these in black and then same with the pant with the bottoms. And I just wear them to death. I pretty much just rewash them and wear them uh, because it's my favorite combo of workout attire. So if you see me in the same outfit every day, mind your business. But I'm gonna look at these photos. They already look pretty from the previous. Oh yeah, I can tell which ones I like overexposed on. Too much or good? It's good though that I did. I feel like I'm really figuring out this camera. These are when the lighting was basically gone. Really? Yeah. Ooh, that one's cool. 
I like that it's kind of blurry. Look at this lighting though. Like, look at that. Wow. It's so pretty. The water looks like... It looks magical. Let me show you guys. Look at this. Kind of hard to even do it justice. I'm gonna post these on my Instagram, but the water is just like so soft looking. Yeah, there's a little bird in the corner. So pretty. Like, come look at this one. This is my um, saran wrap attempt. Oh, wow. It looks cool. Yeah. Looks like dreamy. Uh -huh. Looks cool. <laughs> And so we were like looking around, but everywhere was so packed and busy. Every single court was just packed or reserved. We went to this country club, okay? We were like, let's see if they have like a drop-in fee or something that you can play. I didn't know if it would be completely private or not. So we asked if we could just like, if they offer that and they were like, no, it's a private club. And we're like, okay, but they're like, but you can go, you, we can like show them to you, give you a tour. And we were like, Cool, yeah, let's get the tour of this country club. And then at the end, they told us it would be $10,000, $10,000 up front for like a membership or whatever. And then hundreds of dollars a month as well. We were never gonna join anyway, but he was just giving us the spiel. And he was like, and you have to have like, what is it, like recommendations from current members. Current members. So you can't just like, Again, we don't even want it. We're not gonna be a part of the country club, but even if we were, it's like we would have to and find people in our neighborhood that are members and be like, oh, can you give us a whatever? I don't know what the word is. Like, can you refer us or be like the people on our applicant? And then, we have, and then you have to apply and you have to get accepted as well. Like this is so insane to me. When we were touring it, it was just like the, honestly like snobbiest vibes, I feel like, don't you? It's just very, I was like, I do not want to, I do not want to be here. The pickleball courts were really, really nice, honestly. But we were like, yeah, no, that is not worth the money. That energy was weird. It, it's honestly a lot of like older, probably retired people who are just like rich. So I guess it makes sense. It's like not our scene really, but the vibes were off and we're yeah, not and joining the country club. And it was, we were like, okay, so for basically $12,000. Oh, and they said, your application won't be accepted for like three to six months also. Like who wants to join a country club this bad? Maybe if you're like obsessed with, you know, you wanna play tennis or pickleball every single day or you wanna golf every day, like I guess I get it and you're older, but it's like, geez, this is really, really intense. So we didn't do that, but we did find some pickleball courts that we played at for a little bit, which was nice. Wow, we've had a, we've had a sports filled day. Now we're gonna play some mini golf and eat. I worked with them for years. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. I'm feeling so sleepy this morning and I slept in a lot. It is officially the weekend and our dinner reservation last night wasn't until 8.45. So by the time we like ordered and everything, it was like nine something. And basically we just got home pretty late and yeah, I wanted to sleep in. So that felt really nice. I bought some pumpkin creamer. I bought two types of fall creamers. Let me grab them. Okay, we got some chai. I hope I have enough milk left. I talked about this in the last vlog. If you guys ever see me open 
milk and not smell it, check on me because it is a robot of me and it is an AI generated version of me and it's not the real JC because I will never not smell my milk before pouring it in. Anyway, here's some oat milk. I'll do like that much. And I got these two different types of creamers for a little fall chai. I feel like I should only, well definitely I'm only gonna use one. I'm just trying to decide which one. This one is Pumpkin Spice by Nut Pods and this one is by Elmhurst, which is another brand I like. And it's their Apple Pie Spice. What should we try? I kind of want pumpkin, even though the other one's like a little more unique. I kind of want to try this one. Sorry to everyone if you wanted me to try the other one. We can try it in the next vlog. Let's do a little splash. Okay, pretty good. It definitely added like a pumpkin pumpkin flavor but I feel like in general this is kind of like not watery but probably just because of this milk honestly it's this milk specifically if I don't froth it I feel like it's a little thinner it's not as creamy you know but it's still it's still delicious don't get me wrong a little fall chai and today I think needs to it needs to be a day where I organize some things and I clean up some things which I've been saying for a little bit and I feel like I've been doing in like bits and pieces but I want to like wash my sheets I don't know it's time to refresh, I think, a little bit. So I'm gonna start working on that very shortly. Also, Leif bought this La Colombe oat milk pumpkin spice latte for himself. Let's see if he likes it. First reaction. It smells wonderful. It's good. It's good, really? Yeah. I was kind of expecting you to not like it for some reason. Sometimes I feel like canned drinks that are like coffee, they can be sketchy. Yummy. Happy fall. We're in cozy mode. Come here. Guys, I have been scheming, I have been cleaning, I've been refreshing, I've been making mood boards for mine and Chelsea's new podcast cover shoot, washed my sheets, cleaned out my office, and organized it a little better. I watched some football with Leif, trying to enter my NFL era. Now I'm doing something that's a really bad habit. I think it's a bad habit, which is eat eating at our coffee table, which we do kind of a lot, because we'll watch a show together and like, eat but i i grew up eating all of our meals around the table i'm like never really watching tv while we ate and i honestly like miss that and appreciate that i think it's really nice to like eat at a table and not be watching anything or have technology around i definitely want to try and start eating at the table more especially for dinners but i think so especially if we um just order food it feels a little bit more casual or something sometimes if i make dinner we'll eat at the table but anyway I usually eat like breakfast always there. Sometimes at night, we just like to chill over here. And you know, we make the rules. We can do whatever we want, but sometimes I think that we should not. <laughs> anyway, I ordered a, um, I ordered some food from True Food. The teriyaki quinoa bowl is one of my favorites. It's so good. I got some hummus and pita. And usually the pita is like soft, but this is kind of different than I'm used to. I'm gearing up for a new week. I'm gonna try and go to bed semi-early tonight. What time is it? It's nine. It's 9 p.m. I'm eating dinner at 9 p.m. Awesome. I thought it was like 7.30, I'm not kidding. I lost track of time making that mood board, I guess. I'm gonna go pretty much like do my skincare, start reading and go to bed because it's time for a new week. I have a Pilates class in the morning, so I wanna make sure I get good sleep. Love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and make sure you are subscribed if you're not already for some fun stuff that we got coming up. Love you guys.